and welcome back folks to another exciting episode of Arx Fatalis. So, turns out I know what destroyed my sword, it still had 10 durability. The weird thing is, the moment you hit something, you, the moment you hit that wall, see it, it's a fully durable club. One hit, it's down 13 durability, I, I don't know why. Maybe because it's magic or something. Let's give it some magic. Burn! How do I break this? How do I get through there? Ah. Come on, spasium. No, it's not a field. I know there's something faulty there. That's just mockery. I can tell it's fake. It's fake, I tell you. I can even see the, the relief on the on the ceiling. And here's the way out. Except I get teleported back before I reach it. Ah. Okay, let's try something really stupid. If it's something on the ground, maybe I can just float over it. No, no I cannot. Okay. Was worth a try. Uh, what else can I try? It's really odd, I and mean, there's not really any any proper hint as to what the problem is. I thought I had that. Oh, it's gray now. What the? I thought I had turned that transparent. There we go. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay, so I know this puzzle, right? That's not so hard. But now what? I admit this is kind of a... kind of a difficult puzzle for me. Because at least the other ones had some sort of hint, you know? Not that. I hate the sounds in the background. So disconcerting. Now, so far, all of the puzzles were to be solved in the context of the particular area that you were in, right? So, so the puzzle in the mirror room was to be solved in the mirror room. So there, there was not a lot that was, um, yeah. Like difficult, well, it was partially difficult, but it was not um, sp spread out too far. So I'm guessing this is the case here too, right? Let's try something really silly. What if I'm really fast? It does nothing. Yeah, that does nothing. Okay. So that's not the solution. It has to be something with this door. I can tell that it's a door, I just cannot break it open. What do I have? Detect trap. Sure. Let's try it. Anything that will allow me to detect stuff might be helpful here. Okay, so whatever this is, this is not a trap as such. <sighs> what else? Armor, I don't need that. Night vision, not that useful right now. Let's try another reveal then. It 
Doesn't help here either. Ball, bless, protection, dispel field. I already tried that, I think. It's not just a simple hidden button from the looks of it, it's something else. Trap, no. Repel undead. Levitator tried that. Raise dead, create field. Disable trap. Hold on, what happens if I create a field behind me and thus block myself from teleporting that way? Okay. Like here, for instance. Oops. How do I make a field again? Okay. There, how am I supposed to teleport that way? Okay, that that's the way it goes. Didn't help. Hmm. Flying eye. Maybe I can at least see what's over there. Come on. Movis. No, this. There we go. Uh, that didn't really help much. I mean, I can see what's beyond. But I can't really go there. Right. Visibility, mana drain, enchant object. I doubt it's as simple as somebody not being able to see me. I'm betting the... Uh, yeah. That doesn't matter whether I'm visible or not. I'm kind of running out of things to try here. At least spells. S slow time. Nah, that, that's not gonna be it. A lot of people wouldn't even have that spell. Especially warriors, of course, but... No, 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 it has to be something... Uh, uh. Oh, I'm so stupid. It is a stupid hidden button, I just noticed it by accident. And it opens the door that I knew was there all the time. I feel stupid, man. I just didn't see it. And that's where the teleporter is, so now we're in the clear, hooray! Stupid, stupid, stupid. Okay, what now? It's a bowl. If this is not the genuine article, it's not worth a thing. Okay. It's the same note. The genuine article. Well, probably one of the snakes, I'm guessing. What the? Okay. Now that I have both Krahaus and Zohag, what? Oh god, it is Zohag. What the? You're gonna attack me? Why? I was supposed to be here. Um. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. God, what was that? Okay, um, good. We we got the uh, we got it. I I don't know why that. I, I guess it was not just a test of smarts, but also a test of strength. Because now we okay, 
Oh, but I still have one of these golden snakes. Oh, that's the fake one. <laughs> I, I, I put in the, the right one purely by accident. What happens if I put in the fake one? I didn't even notice there was a fake one. Um, right. Let's put it in anyway. I guess now nothing happens. Okay, so that's Crow... Crow... Krahos and Zoharg. Now, let's talk to the snake lady then. I solved your puzzles! In time. Oh god, I think that was Akbar trying to tempt us. Did you see that? It had tentacles and black eyes and way too many eyes, actually. I don't really trust Akbar. I don't. It's almost like something from Lovecraft from the looks of it. Though, honestly, we only got a very bad peek at it. Zalnash awaits you. Thanks. Oh well, let's uh, let's talk to the lady. Let's see what she has to say. It is curious, of course, that uh, <laughs> that he would, uh, that Akbar would talk to us now, when we have both Krahos and Zohar. Probably because, well, it's not too late to stop him. He's worried, obviously. He's worried. Yeah, look. Still lush. Still look. Sharp. Okay, look. Guess not. We shall meet again soon. Yes, I fear so too. Alright, I think it's time. It's time to uh, talk to uh, Lunchire. So, for that purpose, we're going to Ox. And here we are. Way too much stuff again. I'm gonna have to go on another selling spree soon. Hey, Carlo. Do you have anything to tell me about the rituals? No, I'm Shagar. No, man. Carlo doesn't seem to have a, to, a lot to say, does he? It's always the same with that guy. Alright, let's see what uh, Lunchai has to say. Closing the doors in my face, that's very nice. There we go. Hello, Felno. Hello, Lanshire. Now go, Amshagar, and save us from this demon. Find Krahos and Zohark and destroy this accursed meteor <laughs> once and for all. Find Krahos and Zohark, Amshagar. 
to save the kingdom. Not really up to date. Here, look. Look. Finally, Krauhaus is returned to us. Many thanks for your honesty and devotion, Amshigar. Bear it to the sisters of Edernium immediately. They will be delighted to get their prized possession back, and they will no longer bother me about it. The kingdom of Ox will never forget your courage. Great. Guess he only cares about that one. Hmm. Oh well, I guess that's it pretty much. Huh. I have the rings, I have both of them, meaning I can go back to the tavern now. And I'll be able to try and uh, destroy the meteor in the temple. We're definitely gonna have to drop off some stuff though. I'm gonna sort through this stuff later again, so I'm just gonna put it here. Um, too lazy. And I don't want to annoy you with sorting anything. What the hell? Some fire? Okay. I was curious. Um, uh, this powerful amulet is completely useless. <laughs> At least they're dead. The goblins are, I mean. I'm just dropping it here. I'll sort this once we are done with this episode, I hope. Assuming I'll remember to. Snake woman makes me sick. I guess other people don't really like the snake women too much. Besides, uh, besides the Sacred Dagger Society, it's kind of curious. I mean, on the one hand, oh right, I should re-equip that. On the one hand, they certainly were instrumental in uh, in keeping humanity and all the other races alive, but they are not really that trustworthy. I mean, I guess they are snakes. It's kind of stereotyp stereotypical that snakes are not to be trusted, but still. Right. So before something like that with my sword happens again, I'm gonna have this one repaired, I think. Whoops. Even if it's a bit costly, but I have almost 12,000 gold, so I'm not too worried about price. Alright. Let's just have him repair that. My other stuff is okay for now. 600 gold. It is new. That's alright. That's not a good price, but it's an okay price. Now let's try and make our way to the tavern and continue with our mission. Can somehow make it uh, to the meteor and actually destroy it this time. That would be good. I'm still curious about the outpost, by the way. It doesn't seem like the ill sits to attack and uh, take all the either hostages or corpses with them. So maybe something else happened here to make all the soldiers vanish. Maybe the Ratman attacked. I mean, they seem to have a, a liking for taking prisoners or at least food back with them. Still that stupid ring up there. It's really taunting me right now. Right, so I have these two. I also still have the book from Azrael Darkthorn. I'll try and talk to his buddy. Maybe uh, maybe he has something to say about his logbook. Maybe. Although I think he was drunk, so maybe he doesn't. 
You might not be the most reliable source. Right, Pulseus is still alright, I guess. Huh. Hello. Um, it's not really much of a place to bring up your kids. This fortress. Well, it's the best place for now. Unless you want to go to the travelers. Where did the guy with the uh, games go? And where did the old... That guy go... What the? Some words carved on a stone. Traveler, if you want to take part in my treasure hunt, you will need an emerald to open my chest. Oliver. Oh, that old guy. That's Oliver. Where's his chest, though? Alright, we have plenty of emeralds. I'll definitely have to pick up an emerald next time we're in Arx. If we come across any more chests, maybe the one from Oliver is uh, is the one and we can open it. But where did the where did Oliver go? Is is he dead now? Where did the games guy go? That's curious. Anyway, this was the friend of Azrael Darkthorn. More I drink. Yeah. Stop talking. Who does she think she is, that Alicia? Honestly, Gary's not that stupid. He'll uh, never marry her. Oh, that Alicia. They are talking about Ox people. I guess I can't really show it to him. That's too bad. All right. Time to finish this. I've got plenty of spells now. It's a mouse. Let's go back down there. Uh, scary. Try and destroy the meteor right now. I wonder if the Akbar cult. Oh god. That's not good. That was the sacrificial slab where we rescued Alia from. And the meteorite calling us to give it our power. Well, but it's of course kinda stupid if it thinks I'm gonna touch it without uh, Krahos and Zohark. What the hell? Why is it this closed again? Are they really gonna make me walk through the entire complex again? Alright. Ooh. Nice frescoes. Disturbing, but nice. Floating dagger. Uh oh. Ill sit. Yeah? Wow, he's fast. Blow up. That's better. These guys are tough. I have to be honest, I shouldn't even risk fighting them in close combat. I'm not tough enough. I'm not a good enough warrior. Even though I'm kind of a hybrid, learning both, I'm primarily a magician, obviously. So. Probably work with that. Well, if Ilsids are here, that means that they have tried to retake the. Another dagger. They've tried to retake the temple. Not to worry. I'll just have to advance more slowly because I'm kind of running out of mana right now. Let's explore the other sections before we go to the meteor. So we don't have anything 
you know. Any enemies in our back. I don't want them to attack my my back from behind. Yeah, I still have one durability in my tools. No. Let's try doing this. Hmm. I think I've damaged my tools. Ah, yeah, great. That didn't work. Uh, I still suck at opening chests. Really should invest more into it, I guess. At least there are no creatures or ill sits in this area. Ooh. Ooh. I did not see that last time. Interesting. More hidden stuff. Oh. Okay, well, I already have those. I'll take them. I can sell those. Those runes and spells. That's nice enough. Nice pillow. Ha! Now you'll have to find a new one. Except he's dead already, so he won't find anything. So... Those three rooms were the priest's rooms. And these are, of course... The rooms of the regular cultists who don't get their own rooms. Hierarchy and all that. Right, so security system. I'm guessing there are Ilsids only directly on the path to uh, to the meteor rather than in these side areas. But it might be worth checking out. I could probably destroy those golems and take their hearts. I mean, they don't hurt me or anything, but it might be worthwhile. It's not like I have any reason to leave them alive at this point. This may have been a mistake, by the way. Why aren't you dying? I killed plenty of your kind before. Maybe this one cannot be killed. Maybe it's just a tougher variety, though. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. You know what? I'm not gonna... Actually, I'm gonna give it one more shot. I can't cast this spell yet. Yeah, it's not dying. It is not dying. Let's hope it cannot open doors, shall we? It's coming. I don't think it can open doors, though. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm alright. There's another else sit there. Okay, I'm actually in trouble. Um, shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. Okay, okay. 
So stupid. So stupid of me. I shouldn't have attacked that stupid golem either, by the way. There, better. Better now. I hope that was the last one. At least before the actual meteorite. Where's our blind cultist friend, by the way? Did they kill him? Did they take him away? It's unclear. Check out the lich, gr the lich grave. Maybe there's something in there now. Nothing new. Okay. Hey, the corpse is still here, even. Okay. That's fine by me. Now, let's, uh, let's go to the actual meteorite. I suppose. I hope Eusebius isn't there to create another demon. That would suck. I would just want this to be over now. I hear you cough. There he is. Is that Eusebius? Probably. No, it's just a normal priest, actually. Well then, Akbar. It's time for you to stop what we are doing. There. I should be protected now. Die! Let's tell the council of our victory. I should be able to return to the node now. Ah, it's a tiny piece. I'll pick that up. Colt powder. Oh, there's another corpse here. They, they destroyed somebody else after I freed Alia. It <sighs> doesn't matter at this point. There we go. What's the cult powder exactly? Where is it? Here, cult powder. Alright, don't know what that does. Don't care. Sure, why not? Let's go via the Goblin Kingdom. That's fine by me. Iserbius was nowhere to be seen, though. Just curious. Kinda expect him to put up a fight, you know. Where's that button? There's supposed to be a button here somewhere. Ah, there we go. I guess we did not succeed yet. But then... Akbar is kind of stupid, ain't he? Why would he tell me that there's still another channel that he can follow?
I mean, I was about ready to go back to the Noden, wasn't I? But now I know there's still more to be done. <laughs> and it's not like, uh... What? Okay, whatever. And it's not like uh, we're gonna stop our efforts then. Akbar is making some serious villain mistakes here. Well, I think we're gonna end this episode here. In the next one we return to Arx and uh, talk to Felnor and of course King Lanshire about our partial success in stopping Akbar. See you then folks. Bye.